Over the years, I've received a lot of testimonies from candidates stating that most of the topics that I teach on this channel and in my WhatsApp group are the topics that they end up seeing in their exams. And I've had students who scored 91, who scored above 8, who scored above 70, okay? So, so today, we're going to look at those most recurring questions, those likely questions you're going to see in your exams, okay? And these questions are examiner's favorite. Like, there is no year you will not answer questions on these topics, okay? But before we go, I want to recommend an app, a very good app you should use in preparing for this year's jump, okay? It's called Class 54. Class 54. And this is the app that many of my students from the previous years used. And... And they've said a lot of good things about it. What I love so much about this app is that it does not just provide you with questions and answers like you see in the uh, in your booklet. So it does not provide you with just questions and answers. It explains every topic. Like if you are if you are solving the past questions and you are you are unsure of any answer, you can actually check and find out the correct answer and why that is the correct answer okay another thing not good thing about this app is that it has notes like every subject has special notes for it and these notes are prepared for the exam okay like most of the topics let's see literature most of the topics uh, most of the topics that are treated in literature are the things that you see in the um in jam exams if there are so many questions and uh, i don't really understand the concept see, you can actually check the notes and read about the concepts, okay? This app is available on Play Store and App Store, okay? This app has a lot of good features that I love so much, okay? For example, the Jump Recommended Test. The Jump Recommended Test Life Changer, okay? It's summarized here. And if you do not want to read it, you don't have time to read it, okay? You can actually use the voice assistant. The voice assistant will read it to you. I strongly recommend this app to you, okay? If you are preparing for JAM, UTME, or WASP, okay? Because the app does not only cover JAM, past questions, answers, and notes. It also covers um, WASP, past questions, answers, and notes. So if you are preparing for the two exams, I, I don't see the reason you shouldn't go to your Play Store or App Store and download this um, app. This app, you subscribe to it with just 1,500 naira which is very much cheaper than getting this um, booklet. In Portaco, this booklet costs 2,500, okay? Just for one subject. But with the app, you have all the subjects. You have the equations, you have the answers, you have the explanations, you have the notes, and you'll be able to time yourself while attempting the past questions, okay? It tells you your progress, it tells you how well you are doing with the past questions and how prepared you are for the exams. So please, I strongly recommend this app to you. My goal of being here is to help you pass your exams. So please go and download this app. It will really, really, really help you, okay? Really, really, really help you. Make sure you download it, okay? Now let's go to the board. The questions I'm going to consider today are the likely questions. The likely questions I'm going to see in your exam. There is no year, like I said earlier, there is no year you will see a question on these topics, okay? I have them written down here because I've gone through the past questions and I'm able to come up with these Questions, okay, these questions are the most recurring questions in jam use of English, okay? Now we're gonna start with oral English. Let's start with stress, okay? Now there are words, there are kinds of words that you must answer questions on, on stress pattern, okay? Now, on stress pattern, you must be asked to answer a question on a word that ends in T-I-O-N, okay? A word that ends in T-I-O-N. There is hardly a year that candidates are not asked to identify the stressed syllable of a word that ends in T-I-O-N, okay? And in some years, you see more than one question on words that end in T-I-O-N, okay? Now, when a word ends in T-I-O-N, S-I-O-N, C-I-O-N, okay? The stress is going to be on the second syllable from the end of the word. The stress is going to be on the second syllable from the end of the word, okay? Now let's see the word um, information. Information, okay? Information has four syllables, okay? It has four syllables. And the stress is gonna be on the second syllable from the end of the word. And the second syllable from the end of the word is LA, okay? A word that ends in S I O N like um, television. Okay? Television, okay? Television has um, 
fourth level. So the stress is going to be on the penultimate level, which is the second level from the end. Okay, so it's important for you to know how to stress. Well, where is the ending? I O N T I O N C I O N or S I O N. Okay, because I'm sure you're going to see a question on this in your exam. Please note that you just have to stress the second level from the end. Okay? Another type of word you should take note of is a word that ends in IC, okay? Just like information or words that end in um, T I O N. Words that end in IC are also stressed on the second level from the end, okay? Second level from the end. For example, um, democratic. In the word democratic, the stress is on C R A, okay? Let's think of another word, another word that ends in IC. Problematic, okay? Problematic. We're going to stress the second level from the end, okay? Please take note of words that end in IC, words that end in T-I-O-N because you're likely going to see um, these words in your exams, okay? Words that end in IC and words that end in I-O-N, you are likely, very much likely going to see it in your exam, okay? Please know that you're going to stress the second level from the end, okay? Now, in consonant sounds, you're going to um, answer a question. I assure you this. I'm going to answer a question on this sound and, and this sound. You're going to answer questions on and, and, okay? And how do you identify these sounds, okay? Because um, they're seen in words that contain TH. They're seen in words that contain TH, okay? They have to identify which one has and which one has this one is voiceless and this one is voiced okay how to it is by um using the way we pronounce it in nigeria okay um non-native speakers like us like those of us in nigeria we pronounce some th as t and some th as d okay now the th that we pronounce as t are usually this sound okay and the th that we non-native speakers pronounce are usually this okay so for example um, in this country i'm going to pronounce this word as tank okay tank some of us will pronounce it as tank or some of us will pronounce it as tank okay we say thank you or thank you thank you or thank thank you or thank you okay the right pronunciation is thank you okay that's the sound you have here okay and this word um this word mother okay mother in this country we pronounce this word as mother okay mother my mother but the right pronunciation is mother mother okay because this th this th is pronounced d. that's why it has this sound it has this sound okay now this th is pronounced t, so it has this sound so you are likely going to ask some questions on words that contain this sound and words that contain this sound and in jump okay they know how to make it tricky for students okay let's ask you questions on these words now likely gonna ask you questions on breath and breathe okay breath and breathe breath and breathe okay this one is in now and this one is a verb. This is a noun. And this one is a verb. Okay. This is pronounced breath. Breath. And this is pronounced breathe. Breathe. In Nigeria, we just say breathing, right? Breathing. Breathing. Okay. But the right pronunciation is breathe. 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 Okay. Breathing okay now this word is breath breath okay and is a noun so the th here is pronounced the voiceless the voiceless one and this one here is pronounced okay it's pronounced okay the one that has e at the end is pronounced and this one is pronounced okay now other words you should take note of are bath and bathe 
bath and bathe okay now this one is pronounced bath and this is pronounced bathe bathe okay now um you are likely going to answer a question on more than one question on this okay you might be asked a question on the th letters and you might also be asked a question on the a letters in them please notice that they have two different sounds the a letters in them have two different sounds here we have the a pronounced r r the long r okay r and here we have um, the a pronounced a okay the diphthong a a bathe bath bath okay so please note these words okay because them examiners know that these words are tricky and most times they like to ask questions on these words please um know the difference note the difference here we have here we have voiceless voice okay here we have the long r r here we have the um we have the diphthong a okay so not the difference another sound you should take note of is um s words that contain s that are pronounced z words that contain s that are pronounced z okay and some of the um, words that contain c or s that we are uh, mispronounced as z. okay let's see some examples let's see pronounce this word call you I, I know that many of us in this country pronounce it cause okay now the s here is not pronounced it's pronounced z the cause okay because you caused it okay this sound, this essay is pronounced Z and not S. Okay, please note it. Okay, I see questions on this a lot. Okay, so this sound, the S here, which we commonly mispronounce as S. Another word is, other words you should look at are these words. Okay, now how do you pronounce this? And how do you pronounce this? Now this word is pronounced lose lose and this word is pronounced lose lose okay lose lose okay they are pronounced differently so please take note of it okay lose lose this uh, might be confusing to some people so uh, questions are just being asked on these words price and eh? price Price and price, okay. This is pronounced price. S, s, yeah, this one is okay. S, s. So the price, the price of the goods, the price of the goods is um hundred naira. So the um the thing here is pronounced s and not z, okay. The price of the goods is fifty naira. The thing here is pronounced s and not z, okay. And this word is not pronounced nice. It's not pronounced nice. The C here is not pronounced z. It's pronounced s nice. Okay. Nice. Nice of you. Not nice of you. Okay. Nice of you. Not nice of you. Okay. So the C is pronounced s and not z. Okay. Before we go to the vowel sounds, I think I should mention to you that this word is not pronounced um, off. Okay, the F here is not pronounced, it's pronounced of, okay? The right pronunciation is of, 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 okay? Because you might see a question on this. So, here is not, is of, okay? Now, this word has sound here, of, okay? The one that has double F is pronounced, and the one that has only one F is pronounced Okay, let's go to the vowel sounds. Let's go to the vowel sounds. In the vowel sounds, we're going to see questions on on the sounds. 
and okay you're gonna see questions here yeah, most likely gonna see questions on these sounds okay now this is pronounced ah uh, ah uh, not ah uh, not oh ah uh, ah uh, okay ah uh, now um you see this word in words that contain you between two consonants that nigerians non-native speakers like us okay english learners like us pronounce oh okay the right pronunciation is ah uh. please note that it's not in every um use that is between two consonants it only occurs in use between two consonants that nigerians or non-native speakers pronounce oh okay for example um you say you pronounce this word say you say you as court in nigeria okay maybe ganas will pronounce it as cat okay or it's not cat it is cut cut okay the sound they have here is cut okay cut the u here is pronounced uh okay now in this way it puts the u here is not pronounced uh it's pronounced u u okay short u so it does not have this sound because ordinarily you must pronounce this um u as o uh. you pronounce it as u okay so it only occurs in words that contain u between two consonants that um nigerians or non-native speakers pronounce as o uh. okay now another place to find this word i now another place to find this word is where you have o u o u between two consonants okay words that contain o u between two consonants words like double couple um trouble etc okay the only word that contains o u that is not pronounced r uh, is cough cough okay now this word is pronounced cough, cough. Okay, the O here is not pronounced R. Uh. It does not have the same sound in the word double. Okay, in the word couple, in the word um trouble. Okay, so root words that contain O you think the consonants are pronounced R. Uh, okay, except in the word cough. Okay, how do you pronounce this word? I know you said worry, but it's not correct. The right pronunciation is worry, okay? Here yeah, the the sound is not off, oh, it's pronounced ah, uh, okay? It's not or oh, it's pronounced ah, uh, okay? So it's worry. Now this word, because they might say it in the same question, okay? You might say this word and this word in the same question. So the O in this word is pronounced ah, uh, and the O in this word is pronounced of, oh, okay? So another word that you can find this sound is in this word. Pronounce this word. And then we say dove. <laughs> the right pronunciation is not dove. Okay? The right pronunciation is dove. Okay? It has this sound. Dove. It's not dove. Dove. Okay? Now, um, you already know that this is this word has um has a sound here. Okay? Love. Okay. I, I believe you already know that because I know some of you have heard about love a lot. I know some of you have used the word love a lot and sometimes they try to sound Polish by using um, the right pronunciation, love. Okay. So the word is not love, it's love. The word is not dove, it's dove. This one is common. Okay. We already know that this word is not come, it's come. Okay. It's come. Okay. So now another place to find this sound is in words that contain o o that we Nigerians pronounce o. Okay, there are words that contain o o that we Nigerians pronounce o. Okay, for example, blood, flood. Okay, so ordinarily we pronounce this as blood and as flood. Okay, so the right pronunciation that we have here is the sound ah ah blood flood. Okay. So that's it. That's it about this sound. Okay. This video is actually getting later than I envisaged. Okay. Let's um let's end here today. In another video, I'll um I'll talk about some of the likely questions I'm gonna see in this section on completion of sentences. Okay. All right, guys. I hope you learned something from this video and you enjoyed it. Like I said at the beginning of this video, if you are preparing for jump, if you are watching this video and you are preparing for jump to me or WASK, 
make sure you download um, class 54. It will help you in practice. It will help you to learn more. It will help you to get familiar with the exam situation, okay? So download the app. It will really help you, okay? Thank you very much for watching and see you in another video. Bye-bye.